happiness in life by getting rid of these seven habits. Everyone wants to be happy, but oftentimes we don't know how to achieve it. The truth is, true happiness comes from within and requires us to let go of certain things that are holding us back. Before we jump into the topics, please subscribe to the Daily Hype Tracks channel, hit that notification bell to be updated with the videos we upload every week. Also, please don't forget to like and share this video. Comment down below if you like this video or if you have other articles you want us to create for you like this. Here are 7 things you must let go of in order to achieve true happiness. 1. Let go of fear and anxiety. Fear and anxiety can be debilitating and overwhelming, but it doesn't have to take over your life. With the right approach, you can learn to let go of fear and anxiety and find peace in your life. By learning to let go of fear and anxiety, you can reclaim control over your own life and live a more peaceful, successful life. The first thing you need to do is to identify the source of fear and anxiety may be a situation or event that you've already overcome. This can happen in many different ways, such as experiencing an adverse childhood event or dealing with chronic stressors in your life. For example, you might believe that you're afraid to start over because it's too much work and there's no point because you failed before. Or maybe you're concerned about how others will react if they find out about something personal and embarrassing that happened to you years ago. Whatever the cause is for your fear, it's important to explore and find out where these fears come from. You might worry that people will judge you for that past mistake. On the other hand, you might think it's hard to trust someone so far outside of your comfort zone because they're not familiar with your history. The key is discovering what those fears are, then working on overcoming them by addressing the underlying concerns and learning new skills or perspectives that show you how to handle them. 2. Let go of perfectionism. Perfectionism can be a trap that prevents us from achieving our goals and living fulfilling lives. It is important to recognize when perfectionism is holding us back and to find ways to let go of it. Firstly, we need to know what perfectionism is like. Perfectionism is the belief that one needs to be perfect in order to achieve happiness. It is a pathological desire for flawlessness that prevents people from achieving their goals and living fulfilling lives. Perfectionists worry about what others think of them and believe they will never be good enough, leading them to try harder and harder. This can lead to excessive amounts of stress, depression, anxiety, and burnout. Perfectionism isn't just simply wanting things done perfectly, it also includes fearing making mistakes or not being good enough if those mistakes are made. 3. Let go of worrying about other people's opinions. Worrying too much about other people's opinions can be a major obstacle to achieving our goals. Too often, we let the opinions of others control us and prevent us from doing what we truly want or need to do. This can lead to feelings of anxiety, self-doubt, and even depression. It is essential to recognize that other people's opinions are just that, their own opinion, and not necessarily reflective of reality. We must learn to let go of worrying about other people's opinions in order to live our lives more freely and confidently. 4. Let go of unhealthy habits and behaviors. Breaking unhealthy habits and behaviors can be a difficult task, but it is essential for living a healthier and happier life. Everyone has bad habits that they need to let go of in order to make positive changes in their lives. Whether it's procrastination, smoking, or overreading, understanding the underlying causes of these behaviors can help you start the process of breaking them. By making small changes day by day and being conscious of your choices, you can begin to break those unhealthy habits and replace them with healthier ones. Why do I think I'm making excuses? By thinking that you're just making excuses for not trying to make a change, you are indirectly saying that the problem doesn't really exist. These are just thoughts, and it is important to try to separate yourself from them in order to identify the actual root causes of why you feel this way. It might be helpful to ask friends and family members what they notice about your behavior in order to get a better understanding of what's going on. 5. Let go of unhealthy relationships. Unhealthy relationships can be damaging and draining, yet it can be difficult to let go of them. Recognizing the signs and symptoms of a toxic relationship is the first step in understanding how to break free from it. There are many warning signs that can indicate an unhealthy relationship such as control, disrespect, lack of trust, dishonesty, and manipulation. 
It is important to recognize these signs so you can make the right decision for yourself and your well-being. With the right advice, you can learn how to let go of unhealthy relationships and find healthier ones that will make you happier in the long run. The signs and symptoms of a toxic relationship are when the person has a hard time making decisions without you. The person constantly criticizes and judges you. The person has increased control over your life and activities and is expected to do what the other person wants you to do, even when it goes against your own wishes. There is a lack of respect for your thoughts, feelings, opinions, or desires if you experience any of the above in a relationship, it can be an unhealthy one. 6. Let go of self-pity. Self-pity is a negative emotion that can be difficult to overcome, but it's essential to let go of it if you want to move forward and live a more fulfilling life. Self-pity is defined as feeling sorry for yourself in an exaggerated way, often due to perceived unfairness or injustice. It can manifest itself in various ways, including feelings of sadness, despair, and helplessness. By recognizing the symptoms of self-pity and understanding its causes, you can take steps to break free from this negative emotion and find peace within yourself. Symptoms of self-pity are the feeling like other people is better off than you. Being critical of your own behavior, thinking that it's somehow inferior or not good enough. Feeling guilty or ashamed for things beyond your control, such as family history or genetics. Complaining about how much everything costs and the unfairness of life in general. Ruminating over past mistakes, failures, and bad memories instead of moving on from them. Self-pity can be difficult to identify because its signs are often subtle and hard to pinpoint on their own. In order to recognize self-pity, it's important to keep an eye out for the following, asking others for help. Feeling sorry for yourself in front of other people. Making excuses, such as blaming your family or genetics. Comparing yourself to others and feeling like you don't measure up. Maintaining a negative view of your life without acknowledging the positive aspects of it, when there are many more positive things than negatives. Expressing self-pity in order to manipulate others into providing what you want, such as sympathy or reassurance that someone cares about you. Self-pity is often followed by depression. Self-pity may be the first step towards a more serious disorder that is often characterized by feelings of hopelessness, worthlessness, and helplessness. Trying to control other people with your emotions in order to get what you want. Using your emotions as a weapon such as crying when someone is trying to end a friendship or get away from you. Feeling like other people are always getting the better deal than you. Taking your emotional problems out on others in inappropriate ways that cause harm, for example by yelling or shouting at someone who does not know what's going on and is not responsible for your feelings. What does it mean when someone says, I'm going to light up? When someone says that they are going to light up, they are speaking about their mood and how the person feels in general. This could be a good or bad thing but is typically good for those who use this expression. 7. Let go of doubt and self-doubt. Overcoming self-doubt is one of the most important steps in achieving success. It's easy to get caught up in our negative thoughts and feelings, but it's essential to recognize that these doubts are not real or valid. The only way to overcome self-doubt is by letting go of it. This can be done by recognizing that our thoughts and feelings are just thoughts and feelings, not facts or truths. We can also practice positive affirmations and visualizations to help us stay focused on what we want to achieve, instead of getting lost in the negative spiral of doubt. By letting go of our doubts and fears, we can start taking action toward reaching our goals without the burden of self-doubt weighing us down. With a little bit of effort and dedication, we can all learn how to let go of doubt and self-doubt so that we can reach our full potential and achieve success. Thank you for watching. Start today to achieve true happiness in life by getting rid of these 7 habits.